to the park. And just to see Casey, they travel for miles and they stand in the aisles. And just to see Casey, the ladies don't understand baseball a bit. They don't know a strike from a foul or a hit. But when they see Casey, that game has got it. They see the pride of them all. It wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score was 4 to 2, with but one inning left to play. Listen, you bunch of bush leakers, this here is the ninth inning, in case you don't know it. It's the wind up, the blow off. Come on, now unbutton your shirt. Now get in there and fight. Who's up next? Cooney! The coach was really worried when Cooney went to bat, but all he had to offer was 300 pounds of fat. Ah, but Cooney was determined. He tried to do his worst. He kept his batting average all right. And as usual, died at first. That's a papillo point. Come on. Hooray for our side. Hooray, hooray. Ah, shut up. Sit down. Hurry, man. Dilly up the bum. I'll kick the stuffings out of him. Yeah, run that guy out of town on the rail. Battles was the next one up, and Battles made a hit. Wow, he smacked a beauty right in the pitcher's mitt. That's a fat field fight. Come on, Errol. Take it out. few got up to go. Uh, but the loyal fans stood pat. They'd put up even money now were Casey at the bat. Ah, but Flynn preceded Casey of all the stupid guys. The bat is getting in his head. Now the head is getting in his back. He gagged. He let drive a single. Much to his own surprise. The next one in the lineup was no hit to Jimmy Blake. Of all the mugs in Mudville, he was the biggest fake. But he was really blazing into the wonderment of all. Blake the fake for the cover off the bar. And when the dust had lifted and they saw what had occurred, there was Jimmy, safe at second, and Flynn, a hug at her. Cozy, isn't it? You're safe! Mostly the ladies. Casey's the guy who's the idol of all. But mostly the ladies. Casey is mighty and manly. Casey's a dangerous gent. Ye gad, when he goes to bat, hang on to your hat. He's batting a thousand percent with the ladies. So Casey has nerve and he knows every curve. He's no hokey pokey. He gets away with that old double play. He's your okie dokie. He makes all the ladies go gaga, it's true. No wonder they swoon when he comes into view. He was the Sinatra of 1902. Yes, he's the pride of them all. <laughs> the pitcher's nerves were jagged, and his knees began to shake. One eye was watching Flynn, and the other eye watching Blake. <laughs> While the frightened pitcher ground the ball into his hip, Defiance gleamed in Casey's eye. A sneer curled to Casey's lip. <laughs>
And now the leather-covered spear came hurtling through the air. And Casey stood a-watching it, in haughty grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded said, That is my style, said Casey. Right one, the umpire said. From the benches black with people, there went up a mighty roar, like the beating of the ocean on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill him, umpire! Yelled the cutie from the stand. And it's likely they'd have killed him had not Casey raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's visage shone. He stilled the rising tumult and bade the game go on. <laughs> he signaled to the pitcher, and once more the steroid flew. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, quote, the right to, unquote. Broad by the Madden's thousands, and the echo answered, broad! But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face go stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain. And they knew that Casey would not let that ball go by again. The sneer is gone from Casey's lip. His teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel violence, his back upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball. And now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. <laughs> Mighty Casey has struck out. The game is over.